Hi guys, it's Lisa Joy Young and I am finally back with another design. I'm going to be doing this super awesome Harlequin, Harley Quinn from Batman design for you. And if I wasn't already going to be Jesse Pinkman from Breaking Bad, I would totally be this. Maybe I'll be this next year. Um, also, I got back from Cambodia a little a uh, couple days ago and it was, oh my gosh, it was an amazing experience. It was wonderful and I just want to thank you so much for all of your support for those who did support me I cannot tell you how much it means to me um, I'll be doing another video soon talking more in detail about what I did there but um, just once again thank you and let's get on with the tutorial the first step is going to be to give your skin a white cast when I did this the first time, I used white cream makeup that I bought at a Halloween store, and it was awful. It sunk into my pores and looked uneven. So what I did instead was just applied my normal foundation, and then I used a buffing brush to buff in some white star blend, and it worked much better. The next step is to contour your cheekbones, temples, and forehead with black powder. I use Star Blend, but you could use any black eyeshadow that you have. And then also remember to contour under your chin and your nose as well. When I contour my nose, I go all the way down from the tip of my nose up to my eyebrow. And then I also contour a little bit um, at the very tip of my nose as well. Now it's time for blush. Use any pinkish red blush that you have. Just make sure to concentrate it at the very top of your cheekbone, fade it out, and then also give a little color to your forehead as well. Now it's time for the fun part. To tie in the Harlequin theme, use any stamp or Harlequin pattern stencil that you have and apply black to it but not perfectly because you want the pattern to look worn and old. Press the stamp to your cheekbones and your forehead making sure to connect the pattern in the middle of your forehead. If you have a clear stamp this will be much easier. It was actually kind of tricky using that wooden stamp because I couldn't tell exactly where I was placing it. For the mask, simply draw dots where you want all the points of your mask to meet. So above your eyes, under your eyes, in the middle of your eyes, and on the temple of your eyes. Next, connect the dots and you don't have to worry about being perfect about it. You can clean up the lines later. And the diamonds do a nice job of replicating that Harlequin design that we just stamped on. To help give the mask a little dimension, you can apply some red face paint to your eye area and use a fluffy brush to do this. It will help it to go on thinner and more smoothly so you don't have a cakey mess on your eyes. Now fill in the outer edges with black and that fluffy brush will come in really handy to nicely blend those colors together. Finally, you can give your eyes more definition by using black powder to shade in the crease and underneath your eyes. To make things easier, I decided to use another stamp to put the floor de lis design on my forehead. So I simply painted red onto the stamp and then rocked it back and forth where I wanted it. And it's not perfect, but that's okay. You can go and fill in where it missed, but it gives you good guidelines. And once again, this would have been a lot easier with a clear stamp. It's hard to tell what you're doing when the wood is covering everything. After you have your design all filled in, take a really skinny brush. I'm using a Royal Grumbacher Zero brush and Wolf Black to outline it. 
When you outline, just remember to keep your brush very straight and don't apply too much pressure and you'll get a nice clean line. To do the shading for this, I just used my black star blend and a small brush to quickly add in some shading. I feel that doing it this way is a bit easier than using paint to shade. I also used uh, the black shadow to shade underneath my mask to help give it a more three-dimensional look. To help make the floor de lis design stand out and also give it a more three-dimensional appearance, I also took my black powder and applied it right underneath the design. Always think about where your light source is. So in this case, my light source is coming from the top and that's why the shadows are coming down from the bottom of my design. I wanted my mask to look like it was stitched on, so I quickly drew small white X's at each point of the mask. I then added highlights to all the edges of my mask and then also to the floor de lis pattern. Since my light source is coming from the top, I made sure to only add highlights at the top edges of my floor de lis. When outlining your stitches, remember to keep your lines very, very thin and add a small C shape at the ends to look like that's where the stitches are going into your skin. Fill in your lips with black, but make sure to leave a small bare space in the center to leave a spot for your red face paint or red lipstick. Fill in with red, and then I used a red eyeshadow to help blend my red and black together. The last step is to take your small brush and some black powder and draw a V shape coming out from each stitch, and that will help it look like it's pulling and tugging on your skin. All right, you guys, so that's it. Oh my gosh, I love this. I think it's such a fun design. I hope that you guys like it too. And if you haven't done so already, please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, check me out on Facebook. The link to my Facebook is below, along with all the products I used in this video. I'll be coming out with some more Halloween designs soon. I'll see you later, guys. Bye.